No, I do not get along with Ren Hurst because of her background. I will never in my entire life be friends with somebody who abused animals. Especially for the amount of time, the literal decades that Ren Hurst abused animals, I refuse to become friends with somebody like that. Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. I'll be out in a few minutes. Go, 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 Rain, come on. Guys, Honestly, I don't want to keep reacting to that vegan teacher because I mean, who would have thought that the attention grabbing, bad singing, delusional, freely the banana girl wannabe was a ridiculous, uneducated human being. Freely also, can we talk about it, is another vegan who's just terrible and horrible with nutritional advice. As a vegan myself, I just don't really find it acceptable to use the most extreme versions of bad things to make your point across. You know, vegans are kind of made fun of a lot of the time for being extremists, aka trying to pretend like we know how other animals feel and think and their cognitive abilities. Like, we don't fucking know any of that. Projecting your feelings feelings and emotions onto animals is one of the things that makes vegans look really ridiculous. So as a vegan myself, I try very, very hard to look at things statistically, legitimately, and scientifically, and understand each animal and the fact that each animal sees fundamental reality differently, each animal feels things differently, perceives things differently. I think that everybody should go vegan, that's my own personal thing. However, again, like many many vegans don't seem to understand 10 people going half vegan is better than one person going fully vegan. So attacking other people who are not vegans is not the way to convert people to veganism. So that's all I have to say as to upfront why I hate that vegan teacher. I've made many videos on her on this channel. However, she has decided to um, respond to me. Hopefully this is my last video on her because this chick thrives on saying the most dumb extreme shit to get attention, which is one of the things that makes her not vegan in my opinion, because she turns more people away from veganism than to veganism. And she in turn hurts the vegan movement instead of helping it. We need to get rid of vegans like that because you're not doing us any favors and you guys are what creates the stereotype that vegans are crazy. Moreover, I have decided to react to this video because this is her first actual response to me. Recently, for those people who don't know, her TikTok was removed because she uh, sexually harassed a minor on TikTok. Really goes to show you the type of woman this is. Now she has started making YouTube videos, but I mean, this chick gets so much backlash and hate that she deletes her comments and disables them. I really felt no need to respond to this at any point during the month because the like to dislike ratio on the video she made responding to me is hilarious and it just goes to show you that like nobody believes this chick at all let's go ahead and watch that vegan teacher it's time for your hug come on give yourself a hug hands around yourself give yourself a big squeeze very good always remember to hug yourself it will help you in the times when you feel alone okay so this is oh god i'm gonna speed this up because I just don't want to sit through all of this, like, good Christ. She's just gonna talk forever. This is something people give me shit for in my videos. The fact that I will only show myself reacting to certain parts in someone's video. Trust me, I have watched the full videos of things that I react to most of the time, but I don't show my reaction to everything because you don't have to. You can cut down your video to the specific points of certain scenes that you're reacting to that you want to get your point across on. You don't have to show your reaction to everything. Today, we're going to be watching a video, not by this lady here, because actually it turns out she's not that nice. And what I would rather do is draw attention to a vegan who is actually nice and who has somebody who has spoken out on behalf of the horses. This person here, Rally Link 14, 
I don't understand why she is attacking um, animal rights activists. She says she cares about horses, but yet she promotes riding them and putting bits in their mouths and basically exploiting them. And that's not what it means to be vegan. Okay, bitch. Okay, she obviously didn't even watch my video at all and obviously doesn't even know who I am at all. I don't ride horses in bits. That's one of the biggest things that I advocate against, okay? And I talk a lot about the severity of different types of bits. I talk a lot about the severity of different types of hackamores. I talk a lot about the severity of different types of normal tack that you use when you're not even riding your horse, okay? I go in depth on real scientific studies on pieces of tack, also the proper fitting of saddles. You know, she's gonna say that riding your horse is exploitative. Then you can also say that keeping a horse in a pasture where they're locked up and they can't go run 30 to 40 miles a day like what they should be doing in the wild is also exploitative. You're keeping a horse in an unnatural natural situation for your own benefit, okay? If you're going to keep a horse locked up, you need to be caring for their overall needs. You cannot just leave a horse and let them wither away because they will get early arthritis. Horses need to be exercising. Horses need to be getting a lot of mental stimulation. If you are not having your horse roam 30 to 40 miles a day, which is basically impossible in a captive situation, and we already know that we can't turn horses back out to the wild like everyone who's vegan obviously wants, then you need to be exercising your horse in some other way. One thing I forgot to mention is obviously every single horse should be getting turnout, but unfortunately because we already have a myriad of horses in captive domestic situations, it's unrealistic to assume that every single person caring for those animals has the availability to give those animals quality turnout out where they will be able to roam the adequate amount of land that they should be roaming on. Horses need an incredible amount of acreage to roam in order to get their daily exercise needs that would otherwise be met in the wild. Although riding horses is not the ideal form of exercise for those horses and turnout is, turnout is oftentimes still not enough for those animals and they do need to be getting other forms of mental stimulation stimulation and exercise. And second of all, I love that she doesn't even know anything about me to the point where she wouldn't even know the things I advocate for. She doesn't even understand how if you ride a horse with proper equitation, properly fitted tack, there have been so many studies that have proven that it does not affect the horse in negative ways. Now, obviously there's bad equestrians, there's bad types of riding, there's people who are abusive, there's people who use bad fitted tack that hurts the horse. And that's what I advocate against doing. I'm here to educate equestrians to treat their animals better. I think it needs to be stated that you can ride horses in an acceptable, appropriate way. And I think that it's a lot better for those horses and a lot healthier for them to be ridden appropriately than to sit and wither away in a pasture, which is what Ren Hurst, who she's getting ready to talk about, does. It's just negligent. If you're going to keep an animal, it's your responsibility to take proper care of them. I don't make money off horses. I don't compete. I don't sell horses. I also advocate for rescuing horses and not buying from breeders, as I've done with all my animals. And obviously, I like riding horses. But at the same time, I don't ride my horse if he doesn't want to be ridden. And he has clear indicating signs when he doesn't want to be ridden. My horse is not ridden for my my benefit. I have an exercise rider that goes out and rides my horse on days that I can't ride him. Do you think I'm getting anything out of that? No. My horse is exercised because he needs to be getting that mental stimulation and physical stimulation. He needs to be moving every day. If riding horses was truly bad for them, I would not be advocating for riding horses. But studies and veterinary proof shows otherwise. Okay? Okay. The mission of the sanctuary we've created is to advance the healing of the planet through unconditional love and action and equality for all living beings. My personal mission is to, to raise consciousness and inspire love through my relationships with animals. Aww. For me, the way I spent time with horses, especially as a professional, was, was all about um, power and control and having an agenda and, and trying to get something accomplished. Obviously, I wanted a connection, but I didn't really think about connection um, when I first started spending time with horses and other animals. It was more like using them to 
feel safe and uh, have a source of unconditional love. Ren Hurst is not an equestrian. As I went over multiple times and read her book, Ren Hurst is a terrible example of somebody who loves animals. In fact, she should not even be considered vegan. Ren Hurst should literally go to jail for the amount of abuse that she caused towards animals. And I went over it in this video. I don't understand why all these vegans back Ren Hurst because she literally openly abused animals. And Ren Hurst's whole ideology is that that, oh, because I rode horses and abused horses, then everybody else that I know who rides must do the same thing. As a vegan who's been in the industry for literally 17 years of my life, most equestrians don't treat horses that way. So the fact that vegans want to say that Ren Hurst is the reason why equestrians suck just already invalidates their entire argument because even equestrians don't like Ren Hurst. Now, maybe Ren Hurst has changed and she's become a better person sense and that's fine but that still is not a reason to now believe her that all equestrians treat their animals that way because it's just not true we're gonna try this different way of, of being without control and and earn this truly authentic relationship together where where a horse just chooses to do things with you um, simply because you've built a foundation and you've asked and they say yes. She literally just said that she's trying to build a foundation with these animals where she's asking and the animals say yes. If you believe a horse can do that on the ground, then you also would have no reason to not believe that a horse can do that with you on them. There are clear signs when horses don't want to be ridden. And if you're too stupid to see those signs, then you shouldn't be riding them. So, I mean, Ren Hurst is just an idiot. Like, I really hate her. Ren Hurst should be the last person speaking speaking for horses because she spent her whole life abusing them. Every single time I fail at this and, and an animal doesn't connect with me or chooses to walk away from me or even gets aggressive towards me because I've, I've tried to place an expectation or when I'm interacting with people that I love and completely forget what it is that I do with the animals differently that works. And then I'm like, wow, I know how to do this differently. I really do know how to love better than this. Why am I not doing it? Ideally, our place would be a very safe space for people to come and practice the true nature of love and action with a little bit of guidance because we're not much further ahead than anybody else, but with totally being embraced by people who are going to look right through your messiness and see the essence of who you really are and give you um, a way to move out of it. I don't have a problem, and I never have had a problem, with people who choose not to ride. When I have a problem with you is when you're choosing to not exercise that animal, which is what the animal needs. If you guys don't know, I post all my horse videos, riding, training, liberty, whatever on Patreon and I talk openly in multiple videos about how it's very important to give your horse a choice and if they choose to walk away from you in training that's okay wait for them to regroup with you I wanted to just get it out of me I wanted that that story to get out of me um, that was my personal reason but for putting it out in the world um, there were two reasons one was to ask for help <laughs> like what do I do with this if you resonate you can help me please come find me and that happened and then the other one was to give permission to everyone that felt the same way to, to stand in their truth Messages are flooding in from all over the world saying your story is just like mine. Thank, thank you so much for saying what you did because now I don't feel crazy and now I feel like I can share my story. No, dude. Essentially, you're trying to normalize animal abuse by your, your book. What are you talking about? And just because you have other animal abusers coming to you being like, oh my God, thank you so much for speaking out about this. Same. Based on the premise of that book, uh, that's not a good thing. So I don't know why you're saying it is. Doesn't she seem like she'd be a nice person to me? No. It's too bad that, that this other equestrian uh, person um, I'll say other, but it's not really an other, that Rally felt the need to attack Ren Hurst. And in fact, in one of her videos, she, she really doesn't understand what Ren Hurst is saying. She makes fun of her as if she doesn't believe in science, but that's not what she's saying. She's saying that she doesn't believe in studies that are funded by people or organizations who have a vested interest in the outcome. Um, Rally, I don't know what her real name is, is also vegan, or she calls herself vegan. But True vegans don't ride horses. Oh my god. Again, I already went over why that's ridiculous. And also on top of it, no, I understand that she was saying she doesn't believe people who are looking for that outcome. What you don't understand that I was saying is that the vast majority of equestrian studies that are put out there are not conducted by people in the industry. Oftentimes they're conducted by universities that have no ties to the industry, that are just doing equine science studies, or by people who are even trying to debunk industries, like people who are trying to attack the racing industry by coming out with studies showing how damaging bits are, showing how damaging whips are, which speaking of, I'm literally getting ready to go over the whip studies in a live stream soon. But there are literally people who come out with 
Paris studies to attack certain industries and showcase how bad they are. And I have backed those people because I'm vegan and I want the best interests for animals. And it's a shame that they can't get along because in reality, they have 99% of the same beliefs. No, I do not get along with Ren Hurst because of her background. I will never in my entire life be friends with somebody who abused animals. Especially for the amount of time, the literal decades that Ren Hurst abused animals, I refuse to become friends with somebody like that. I mean, just the fact that even she declares herself as vegan, I mean, rally, means she's already gone through a lot of the steps. So it's just this final step at the end. Like, should you ride horses? You know, make money by giving horseback riding lessons. Should you put a metal bit into a horse's mouth? Should you train horses from a young age and break their spirits by making them go round and round in circles on a leash until they become dizzy and tired of it and then you'll just, you break them. Treat them like slaves. It's bizarre how one person can look at horses in a way that really humbles them and another person can look at it in a way that makes them think that this animal could be a slave for them could be a way to earn money. Okay, literally, I'm not even gonna react to what else she has to say because I can't react to somebody who has not even watched any of my videos and doesn't even know anything about me. I don't ride in bits. I advocate against them. I also talk about how much damage they cause. I also don't make money off horses. I don't give lessons. I stopped giving lessons a long time ago when I did become vegan. However, I don't think it's bad to give lessons to new upcoming equestrians and teach them the more appropriate, better ways of riding that are good for horses and how to develop a relationship with those animals and not treat them like a slave, not treat them like a piece of machinery, not use them for exploitative purposes, but to actually love and care about the beauty of these animals. I don't compete, I don't make money, I didn't break his spirit, I trained him myself as an orphaned rescue from the time he was a baby and literally never broke his spirit. Like I trained him in a rope halter. He had every opportunity to not participate any of the days of training. It, it just, it's so dumb. If my horse didn't want to be ridden, he wouldn't be ridden. Trust me, there are many days where I go out to the barn and he does not want to be ridden. And I'm like, cool, man, I'm not going to ride you. That's all I uh, have to say today. I wanted to present to you both of them. I didn't uh, want to spend too much time on, on Rally because I don't want to um, draw attention to somebody who is, in my view, not really vegan. So, but you can have a look for yourself if you want and decide for yourself. In my view, you're not vegan. And a lot of other vegans, in fact, the vast majority of vegans don't like you for this exact purpose, that you don't do your research, you don't know anything about me, you're speaking on something that you're uneducated on. They look at the extreme and they're like, no, everyone should go vegan now. That's not realistic. We need to be working on the building blocks so people can all finally get there as an end result and take their time doing it because people don't change overnight. No industry is going to change overnight. So what I'm doing is more effective than what you're doing because I'm promoting the better treatment, health, and care of horses in the industry which you would know if you watched a single shred of my videos. But this is why she's so uneducated, is because she doesn't. She just only wants to listen to herself, never wants to listen to anybody else or become more educated on anything. And she's all me, 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 I'm right and everyone else is wrong. And it really just makes her ignorant. I'm sorry that by me making this video, it's gonna continue to bring relevancy to that vegan teacher. I just wanted to make this my last video on her and get it done and over with because I'm just so sick of reacting to her. My new website, Link Equestrian, has launched. These hats are available on the website. Thank you again to Coldest Water for, as always, sponsoring my videos. That link is down below as well. And if you guys wanna watch my Patreon content because I do film horse Patreon videos of my training, riding, those are down below. I usually produce two to three videos a month. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.